now we are still solving problems and solutions under equations with fraction and this happens to be the very question question number five right yes now question number five we are asked to solve 3x plus 2 over 5 minus 2x plus 3 over 3 is equal to 3 guys now we have first fraction second fraction this is not a fraction so what do you do you will put it in fraction form by yourself all right and to put any term that is not in fraction in each fraction term all you just need to do is to put it as over one make the denominator one and one divided anything divided by one still remains the same all right so now we have solution we are going to put down our 3x plus 2 over 5 minus 2x plus 3 over 3 is equal to 3 over 1. This is the fractional form of 3. Alright? Understand that 3 divided by 1 will still give you back 3. But we just want this to appear in each fraction form. Now, we have 3 fractions. And these 3 fractions, we have 5, 3, and 1. So we are quickly going to clear the fraction, right? Yes, by eliminating the denominator. So we say clear the fractions. To clear the fraction, what do you do? You first of all find the LCM of the denominators. Now, the LCM of 5 and 3, forget about 1, is 15. Yes, LCM of 5 and 3. Is 15. Then what do we do? We are going to multiply this whole we are going to multiply this whole equation by 15, which is our LCM, so that we can successfully eliminate the denominators that we have in this fraction. Now, what do we do? We are going to say 15 times the first fraction, which is 3x plus 2 over 5 minus 15. Open bracket 2x plus 3 over 3 close bracket then is equal to 15 times 3 over 1 guys it's as simple as this the next thing we do is that once we multiply all through by the new lcm we are sure that the denominator can successfully divide that denominator yes so what do we do this is 15 divided by 5 and guys 15 divided by 5 we are going to have 3 so 3 multiplies the numerator we are done. We have eliminated the denominator here. Then also to eliminate this denominator, 3 can go into 15 to give us 5. And now we are going to have minus 5 into 2x plus 3. Equal to 15 divided by 1 is 15 times 3. Guys, we are done with the possible result that step number 1 can give to us. The next thing we do now, since step 1 has resorted to equation with bracket, then we are going to use the principles of solving equations with bracket, which means we are going to be clearing off the bracket or either removing the bracket, right? Now we simply say remove the brackets. Now to remove the brackets, what do we do? We will simply get to know the multiplication factors, which are numbers directly in front of the respective brackets that we have here. Now, the first bracket, which happens to be 3x plus 2, has a multiplication factor of 3 outside the bracket. Then the second bracket, which happens to be 2x plus 3, has a multiplication factor of minus 5. And the last bracket, which happens to be 3, has a multiplication factor of 15. So what do we do? We start treating this with respect to the brackets and their multiplication factor. So the first bracket here, we are going to expand it. Now we are going to have 3 times 3x, guys, we will have 9x. 3 times plus 2, guys, we are going to have plus 6. Now, understand that this is minus 5. So, minus 5 times plus 2x, guys, we are going to have minus 10x. And minus 5 times plus 3, we are going to have minus 15. Yes, minus 5 times plus 3 will give us 15. Then equal to 15 times 3. Guys, we are going to have this as 45. Now that we have successfully removed the bracket, guys, the next, where will we collect like terms? Now we have collect like terms now in collection of like terms what do we do we set to arrange all the what the variables at the left hand side and all the constants at the right hand side and therefore what do we do now the first variable that we have here is 9x and it's already at the left hand side that means the sign will not change so we put it down as 9x 
Then the next variable we have is still at the left hand side, which is minus 10x. And being that minus 10x is already at the left hand side and it's still maintaining that same side, that means the sign will not change. It will as minus 10x. Now, as we have this, then now that we have 9 minus 10x, then when we come back to this very question, we will see that we have done putting together all the variables. Now we can pull down our equal to sign. What do we do? At the right hand side, we initially have 45 and it's supposed to be there, so we pull down 45. Then all other terms that we have here, which are constants, is plus 6 and minus 15. Understand that we are going to be moving 6 and 15 from the left hand side to the right hand side and their respective signs must change. Now, when I move minus 15 from the left hand side to the right hand side, guy, guys, rule number 3 must be obeyed, which says negative turns to positive. Therefore, minus 15 becomes plus 15. Now, the next thing we do is that we will come to plus 6, which is also a constant at the left hand side and now we need to move it to the right hand side. And how? What do we do, guys? We are going to move plus 6 from the left to right and plus 6 will automatically become minus 6, which rule number 2 obeyed. Then we have minus 6. Guys, when you remove 10x from 9x, we are going to have minus 1x. Then we have minus 1x. Then equal to. Now, guys, when you add 15 to 45, or 45 plus 15 will give us 60. And 60 minus 6 would have given us 54. Hope that is taken. Yes, you can include this in your calculator and you will have the resulting figure, right? But first is to add 15 to 45 to give us 60, then remove 6 from 60 to have 54. Then this would have been 54, guys. And the next thing we do is, you see now the x has a coefficient less than 1, which is minus 1. Is that correct? Yes. Both sides by minus 1. Guys, we are going to have minus x over minus 1 is equal to 54 over minus 1. This is how it is. So now, minus 1 divided, don't forget that it is minus 1 here, right? Yes. So minus 1 divided by minus 1, we are going to have plus 1. And this will give us plus x, which is equal to 54 divided by minus 1. Understand that this is plus 54. Guys, Plus divided by minus is minus, and 54 divided by 1 is 54. Just imagine you are asking one person to carry 54 oranges. He's going to go with the whole of the 54. This is exactly what we mean here. So one person carries the whole thing. All right. So guys, this is the end of this very question. So all you need to do is to take your time to walk through the solvings from the very first step through the second to the third down to the very last step where we obtain the answer for this solution. So guys, I will see you in question number six very shortly. Now welcome back. We want to start solving the very question number six. Okay, right. We have question number six on the board. Similarly, we are going to solve it the same way we have been solving other questions. Now, we are asked to solve two open bracket 5n minus three close bracket over three. Minus three open bracket 5n minus two close bracket all over five equal to 8 over 15 guys you will see that there is a little touch of uh complexity in this question unlike question one to five that we've solved before when i mean complexity you see that this is a combination of equation with fraction and equation with brackets at the numerator you have equation with brackets and at the denominator you already have equation with fraction so in this question that we have here now we have a combination of equation with brackets an equation with fraction. Without this, you already know that these two open bracket is already showing that this numerator is equation with bracket. This also is equation with bracket. Then the whole of the question is equation with fraction. So first, the thing you're going to do first here is that we are going to clear off the brackets. All right, you can do it whichever way, but let me take it only in this direction so that you can get it clear. All right. We are going to be solving only in one direction. Now, what direction are we going to do first? The first thing we are going to do anytime we have a problem like this, I'm going to solve one or two more problems regarding to this as well, right? The first thing you will do here is not to clear the fraction, all right? Based on how we are going to solve it now, you can solve it in another way around, right? You can solve it in an other way around. But in this tutorial video, I'm going to take it only in one direction, all right? So first of all, what we are going to do is to remove the bracket first. When we remove the bracket, the next thing we are quickly going to do, then we can clear the fraction. So, solution. 
we have 2 into 5n minus 3 all over 3 is equal minus 3 into 5n minus 2 all over 5. All is equal to 8 over 15. Guys, this is what we have. So the first thing we will do now is to clear, we're going to clear the bracket. Now, to clear the bracket, all we need to do is to have 5 times 2. And that would have given us 10 n. Then 2 times minus 3, we're going to have minus 6 all over 3. Then minus 3 times 5 n, we're going to have 15 n. Then minus 3 times 6. 3 times minus 2, we are going to have minus 6. All over 5. Understand that we are not clearing the fraction, and that's the reason why I have not made use of this minus to affect this. We are going to make use of it later on when we will be clearing the fraction. Then this is equal to 8 over 15. Guys, now that we have this only as equation with fractions, the next thing we are quickly going to do is to clear off the fraction. So let's say clear the fractions. So to clear the fraction, we simply find the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 3, 5, and 15 is 15. Yes. The LCM of 3, 5, and 15 is 15. Don't forget, you only find the LCM of the denominators. So now, we now multiply everything in this function by 15. That's what it is. So you are going to have 15 times the first bracket, which is 10n minus 6 over 3. Then times minus 50. Multiply 15n minus 6 all over 5. Then is equal to 15 times 8 over 15. It's as simple as this, guys. So we are using 15, which happens to be the LCM of 3, 5, and 15. To multiply through the whole of the equation. Then what do we do now? We know by this, having multiplied the whole fractions by the LCM, the denominators can now divide that LCM to remove the denominators. Are we there? So to remove this denominator now, we are going to say 3 go into 15 or 15 divided by 3. We are going to have 5 times 10n minus 6, close bracket minus 15 divided by 5, guys. We are going to have 3 into 15n minus 6, then equal to 15 divided by 15, we are going to have 1 times 8. Now, we have successfully removed the denominators. Now we have eliminated the denominators. The next thing we are going to do is that we are going to now remove the bracket, right? Now, we also remove the brackets. Now, how do we remove the brackets? We get to know their multiplication factor. How many brackets do we have here? We have three factors, three brackets. And these three brackets all have their respective multiplication factor. For the first bracket, we have five. Second bracket, we have minus three. And the third bracket, we have one. So, we are going to start with the first bracket. Five times 10 n, guys. We are going to have 50 n. Then, five times minus six, guys. We are going to have minus 30. We are done with the first bracket. Now, we come to the second bracket which has a multiplication factor of minus 3, right? So we are going to say minus 3 times 15n, we are going to have minus 45n. Now minus 3 times minus 6, guys, we are going to have plus 18. Don't forget that minus times minus is plus, right? Now, so minus 3 times minus 18, sorry, minus 3 times minus 6 is plus 18, guys. Then 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Then the next thing we are quickly going to do, like as usual, we can rearrange, we can collect like 10. First of all, guys, let's rearrange this. We know that this can be 10 at 50. Okay, let's just quickly. Now, the next thing we are going to do here is to collect like terms. all right? There's no need for us to rearrange. Let's collect like terms. Now, let's quickly collect the like terms here. So, we said collect like terms. Now, how do we collect like terms? We know that the variables occupy the left-hand side while the constants occupies the right hand side. So all the variables, we are going to arrange them at the left hand side. And all the constants, we will likewise arrange them at the right hand side. By which is a variable already at the left hand side. Now, minus 45 is a variable and also is already at the left hand side. Hence, the sign there is not going to change. So it still maintains the negative sign of minus 45n. 
Now we have successfully put down all the variables. What we are going to do now is to put down the constant. Then we state our equal equality sign. Now at the right hand side, initially we have eight there, so we put down the eight. Then we can now move those constants at the right left hand side to the right hand side. Now the first term that we have there now is minus thirty. Now when we move minus thirty from the left hand side to the right hand side, guys, it's going to turn to plus thirteen, obeying the third law of linear equations. Then we have plus three zero. Then the next thing we have is what plus eighteen. Still at the left hand side. Now we want this value to be at the right hand side. Therefore, if we had plus eighteen at the left hand side, now that we are moving plus eighteen from left to right, it will turn toward minus eighteen. Rule number two of linear equation obey. So we now have minus eighteen, guys. Hope this is clear enough. Okay, now the next thing we are quickly going to do is to remove forty five n from fifty n. Yes. 50 naira minus 45 naira. Guys, I know if I if at all I'm using any other thing, you may not know, but once I come to money, many of us will know it very well. Alright? So 50 naira minus 45 naira. Guys, what do we have? We have 5 naira, right? So we are going to have 5 naira. This is amazing, right, guys? So 5 naira. Then we have equal to first, we have to add 30 to what? 8 to give us 38, right? Yes. 8 plus 30 is 38 and 38 minus 18. Guys, we are going to have 20.